unmute unmute my mic. There we go. <clears throat> Copy link. Okay, do of T T M E. Okay, so is that everyone supposed to post? Well, I like to think I'm supposed to post. So let's um, go do some mining, shall we? This way, it's night time. Let's sleep. Actually, before we go mining, I want to quickly harvest the... Oh, shoot. Yeah, no, let's not. Let's not. We're gonna go mining directly. The farm is over there. I want nothing to do with those skeletons. Actually, uh, yeah, sure. Let's go mining. Let's quickly harvest the cotton first. Come on. That's easy enough to do. Let's take those with us. Um, need a couple more torches. I lit up the area here around our house. Um, so that um, we're a bit safer, hopefully. Eighteen. There we go. Now we'll head into the gold mine because we need gold for that gold chest that we were trying to get yesterday. Where is it mine? Let's add the ores back. It's a bit that way. Okay. There we go. Down here? Nope. Add over here in this hole. Here we go. A little snack. Also, I noticed between um, streams that the um, right. Let's not do this one because there's lots of enemies. So let's wait until we're a bit better kitted out with armor and weapons and stuff. But so notice between streams that we've gained two hearts from food. As you can see at the bottom of our screen over there, we've got two orange hearts now. So you need to eat unique food items to gain that, so that's nice. Let's go for this gold. Yeah, you can see the ring of torches that I left behind. So that's the appetite mine. It's like two or three stacks of torches that I did. So it's a few torches. And I made some of those torches with the nice wool recipe. It's some of them just from the charcoal itself. 
There we go. Making tight. Um, put you there. Gold. Where in the vein are we? Are we on top? Are we down low? Got some gold over here. Go right down one level. And then we'll just start mining over here. Why not? Let's just go this way for now. And we'll see how much of this gold we can find. Big explore? Oh no. That's not a nice thing to say. I'm going to get back. I want to look into the materials in your book to see what it would take to... Um, what we can put on the tool um, upgrade-wise. So now you can put, like, monster heads on it, and we've got, like, two or three creeper heads, I think. So I want to see what the effect of those creeper heads would be. Anything that would be useful to us. Remember, we need the gold to make a gold chest for all our plants. Because we've got more than an iron chest of plant stuff. And I don't really want to split it out into multiple iron chests. This pickaxe is almost done. About noon. Let's go up. We got six more gold, which isn't a lot. There we are. Let's head back to the house. <coughs> An empty hand. I think those skeletons have despawned now. We can also just go to our farms. There we go. And just gather some resources. I thought there was like some wheat on the ground there, but there wasn't. There we go. I don't know if this is true, but it feels like you get more resources if you harvest with an empty hand than with an item in your hand. So that's why I keep putting the items in my actual infantry slot instead of my hotbar. There we go. Let's put the stuff away. Marine valuables.
food, etc. And the plant stuff. So I think we need this. We need these. Yeah, because you need um, some wool and some carpets. The carpet is... Oh, you can do it with a saw. Let's go for the saw. So I think we need to make this into... All right, you need to make it into string. There we go. And then make the string into wool. I think we need five wool. They're just a bit short. This is... Like this. There we go. This is the carpet. We need one more wool. Do we have some more string? We do have some more string. Is it enough for a wool? It is. Now I should be able to make a sleeping bag. There we go. That should be a quest as well. Nice. Okay, so we've got that done. Put this into the plants. It's there. Two. Let's repair our pickaxe. Get some iron. There we go. Pickaxe repair. We'll actually take this with us. Some flint to repair our shovel, should it be necessary. Um, and then we'll go back into the mine. Hey there, JPM, how are you doing? <clears throat> so we've got that, we've got our sleeping bag. Where's our food situation? We've got two empty slots. Let's see, do we have anything here that we've got not eaten yet? Raw pork chop we've not eaten yet. Raw mutton we've not eaten yet. So let's put those in there. There we go. And then we'll head... Actually, let's empty this out first. Don't want those foods, those meats to spoil. There we go. Now we can head back into the mines. Get some more precious gold. There's the entrance. Here we are. Now we've got a sleeping bag so we can sleep when it becomes night. So that no monster spawn outside. It's a gravel beach, right. That's like, what's that waypoint? I can actually turn that off. Um, danger house, gravel beach. Let's just keep safety house on. I think we're near the end of the vein here. What's this? Oh, iron ore. I'll take that. Let's do this side. Let's just go this way for now. Let's see what we can find. Got no gold yet this trip. 
weld in the floor there. And in the wall, of course. Let's just take that. Another gold in the floor. Is it small gold? Yeah, it is. That's small silver. Take that for some solar panels if you want them. I think silver is actually pretty rare for now because you get it in the Twilight Forest, I think it's called. Couldn't remember the name. Let's see, is this uh the end of this. Nope, there's still some magnetite. I think that that is it. Nope, still another one. Small magnetite? Yeah, small magnetite. What a coincidence. We've had small gold and small magnetite so far in this row. I don't like the sound of that spider. Another magnetite. Thanks. Let's leave it at that. Go for another row. I really want a hammer. We'll get there soon. Okay, let's repair the X. It's a six gold ore now. I want to try to get like half a stick or something. Don't know how realistic that is. now. Suddenly it seems way more realistic. We keep getting all these gold ores over here. It's 11 now. all this dirt out of the way.
another gold here. Somehow didn't get this was this one. To thirteen. Over a third of the way there. Snack, mid mining snack. another um, gold vein. So it was one, two, three, four, five out of the eight veins that we've gotten so far are gold. I mean, it's good because we need gold right now, but time to upgrade to a gold house. Yeah, exactly. Also, yeah, welcome back. Um, XA. XA. XI. And yeah, gold, gold house. I mean, we need a we need a bit of gold. We're not here for nothing. But um, I'd like a copper vein and a tin vein as well, please. Are the veins, um, the probabilities of veins, dependent on the biome that you're in? Because if so, that could explain some things. It looks small. It's more iron. Yeah, it is. Another small gold. Okay. Is it? Um. Here we go. Vein stats. Yeah, okay, you're right. Mm hmm. But still, there's only one vein per like um, chunk region right so um, 
having a gold vein here um, means that there's not like another vein. But if there's like a mountain, it might mean that there's a higher probability of tin being the ore present. Being the vein present, I should say. Only one type in orchard. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought as well. Some polishing to mask how bad iron pickaxe is. It's polished. I despise those spider sounds. They literally make me shiver. There we go. Ugh. Okay, a little bite to eat. There we go. So we're at 18 or now. That's nighttime as well. I said we'd sleep if it was nighttime. Day number 63. We wake up with speed. Speed 3 probably. Yeah. King Slime. Because why not? Is that from the Slime Island? Or is there actually... Because uh, there is a... Um, a Slime Island. So it's, it's probably from the Slime Island. Probably not another King Slime downstairs. I find that unlikely. But then again, this is GTNE, and it would be very greggy to have multiple bosses. X broken. There we go. Oh, it isn't anymore. What's that? Black granite. I'm mildly suspicious about this. Why would there suddenly be another type of stone? If we had like proper soundtrack, this was an RPG, I feel like we'd get some uh, boss music or something right now. Might just be like uh, just another stone type. In which case, it's very dark. But I'll gladly take it. Oh, it isn't black granite like a... Um, isn't that like a, um, a source for a special resource? I feel like I, I read about that somewhere. 
on the Discord or something, that black granite is useful to get a certain resource. You can only get um, way more difficult in way more difficult ways. So it might be a good idea to mine some of that black granite. Or if it's like a bigger vein to like mark it. My backpack is almost full. full. After we like finish this row, actually, is there like compressed cobblestone? Uh, shapeless, shaped. Don't think so. Okay, that would have been too easy. So of course, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. There you go. Hey. <laughs> Let's head back upstairs. Um daytime. He's with us. There we go. Let's head upstairs. into our house and that's where the king slime is I'm not looking forward to having to defeat him although of all the bosses probably the least annoying okay stone And valuables. Another type of stone. Okay then. Let's put this back. This can go there. Got three open slots. Okay. Let's see if we've got anything that we haven't eaten here. Haven't eaten that yet. Eaten that yet. Okay. Let's see if we can find one more. A raw potato. These three can go there. Speaking of raw turkey. Get this and let's harvest the cotton again. There we go. Plants. Ingredients. Okay, let's go and complete all these quests, or at least get the rewards from all the quests that we completed. 
and then we'll actually go do some quests. Church reward. Carrots we've got. Crops we can relatively easily make. Cocoa beans we haven't got yet, so let's claim those. This sleeping bag that we made. Tent leather. Let's go for the loot bag actually. We got some uh, wheat. Made some grain bait. Get the loot bag. Another bait, another loot bag. Do anything else? Right, we got some cows. There we go. Oh, you can do that once every six hours. Oh, that's nice. So if you're doing a hardcore, you should just set up like a uh, like a sheep breeder, and then every what's four times six. Every 24 hours you'd get a new life. Set up one for every animal type. And you get infinite infinite health, so the better questing hardcore mode isn't very hardcore. Not that I mind that, of course. And it's not relevant to us because we're not playing it, but it's interesting. So that's some plant stuff, coins, a heart, another one, right? Yep. Okay, let's do these loot bags. And this one. The dice again. Already got that. What's this? Potato, potato chips and bag of chili chips. I'll eat those. Um, where is it? Here it is. The gold chest. So let's make some double gold plates. So four double gold plates requires um, eight gold plates, which requires 16 gold. Plus we need two screws, so that's another two. 18 gold. Let's smelt with buckets of creosote. That's fuel. So the disc can keep running, and we'll just stock up on the coal, on the coke. We need this once we get to steel. These buckets. Bring that back. Okay. Got two gold already. Got our tools, a saw, screwdriver file, and a hammer as well. File these into rods, and we saw them into bolts, and then we file those bolts into screws. There we go. We need a chest, so one flint and six logs. There we go. Flint, there we go. Oh, no, oh, that's not what I meant. There we go. So now we're just waiting for all of this gold to cook up. Let's refill my drink. Mm. 
And yeah, we're racing fuel. But I want to use up this creosote, not um, save it. But the seven, nine. There's a double ingots, which is not what we need. Gold plate. Double gold plate. There we go. Okay. Now we need to make this into a gold chest. There we go. Let us put it above this one. Sure. And let's go put all of this plant stuff in there. Do we not have an X? Oh, this is over here. This is, plant, this is plant stuff, okay. Plant stuff. Iron hatchet is dented. Okay, inventory is full again. Put it all in there. Also got this over here. There we go. All of the plant stuff is now in one chest. Well, except for the wood stuff. I think this is another chest. Let's see, um, let's take an iron to gold upgrade, why not? Um, next up I think it's a good idea to do some drawers, because this is getting full with all of this cobblestone and stuff, so we can make like a wall of those drawers over here. Um, let's do that. Well, barrels offer a slot for a single item. Drawers can have up to 16 or have up to 4 slots each, holding 16 stacks per slot. However, they do come with some downsides. You want to be able to make them point up or down. You can only access the content from the front. The automation can use any Okay. I need to sneeze. There we go. Oh, this only gives one. So you need a lot of chests for that. Okay, let's grab some wood. And some uh, flint. There we go. Um, so I've got these two, and also just use these. Empty. These are also empty. And oak drawer. So you need slabs, and you get slabs again with a saw. Sure, there we go. Need four of these, which is exactly what we got there. Okay. And then oak drawers one by two. So we need more slabs. I think we're gonna need more saws. Also gonna need some more chests. There we go. There we go. Oak drawers two by two.
need more slabs. We need five times four equals 20. We need 20 slabs. So we need a saw. Which we need a saw blade. Which we need some iron. And we've got the file and stuff. Um. Snow blade. With a file and a hammer. With a file and a hammer. Hammer, file. This is probably plate. There we go. File, hammer, iron saw blade, gonna need a stick. There we go. So gonna need 20 slabs. Oak drawer. Um, this one. Gonna need six more chests, okay? We're gonna need more flint. Do we have any? Yep, mortar. And six gravel. We go and one more of this. Six chests, two more oak drawers. There we go. You should complete the quest. Better than barrels. Some buttered potatoes. Very nice. So let's go put some of these to use, shall we? So for like, let's put them here. Four. Okay, cobblestone. Gonna go there. And dirt. Gonna go there. Quick sand. Gonna go there. And then the rest we'll do when we need it. Time to have a quick nap. These away, these tools, coins, and upgrade iron ingots. What are we going to go for next? Um, what's this? Oh, we can't do that yet. Um, that's a crop, st crop stuff. A digger's backpack and a miner's backpack.
Yeah, let's not do that right now. I'm lazy. Let's go look for tin and copper. So let's <laughs> grab what we just put away. There we go. And also make some more uh, flint. There we go. Take this one with us. Um, here we, we could do this one over here. Sure. Um, okay, what am I talking about? Yeah, this one over here. Let's go do that one. Where is it? It's up north. This is my chunk. Uh, F9, 9. Chop down this tree because it's in the way. Over here. Still over here. Let's see, hopefully we can get some copper or something. Already, actually, for tin or too far down, but for um, cassiterite or you could still get cassiterite, and cassiterite is tin, right? Yeah. Twenty to forty. So in the range for cassette right now. Keep our fingers crossed and stuff. It's small iron. What's this? Pyrite. Oh, that's small pyrite. Okay. Uh, let's repair. It's like, where did those um, logs come from? Chop them. Copper ore. And we do need copper, but I'd like more than just one block of small copper. I'd like a uh, copper vein, please. Probably too far down for a copper vein, though. Why 20? Okay.
Right, come make staircases out of gravel. <laughs> I learned that lesson yesterday. Yeah. Almost at bedrock now. What's this? Chow copyright. Oh, Chow copyright is copper. Well, and other stuff. Copper and shell. It's this small diamond. Okay. Oh, that's a flawless diamond, even. I think that's good. So, chow copyright. Chow. Chow copyright. A chow copyright vein. Wait, what? What did they name it? Copper vein or chow copyright vein? Copper vein. Okay. Um. A copper vein. And so copyright itself is copper and iron. Oh, okay. And if you smelt it, you get copper. Oh, nice. Okay. So then that's exactly what we need. Let's go this direction for now. Good thing that we didn't find yet another gold um, or vein. That would have been. Uh, then I'd have started to say, "This world is rigged." It would have given me like uh, XCOM vibes. What do I actually need for this? I just need. Four jade copper ingots, okay. That's easy with all of this ore. We just fill up our inventory. And then we'll head back. It's almost night time. We'll go have a nap in our sleeping bag once it becomes night time. Copyright, have we gotten yet? 23 and a bit of pyrite. Okay, chunk boundary. Oh, wait, what? We found a copper vein. Oh, in this one, See, there's two copper veins, like diagonally next to each other. Okay. Where is that? Like in the uh, on the world. That's okay. Okay. Let's go this way, why don't we? Sounds like a plan. 
And but before we do that, I have a nap. Pickaxe, iron, there we go. Okay. Hey. Shovel, flint, there we go. And the snack. Got a reward ourselves for doing all this hard mining It's copper ore? Yeah, it's copper ore. Nice. Small copper ore. Multiple normal copper ores actually here. The small copper ore as well. Very nice. Almost full though. Oh, small redstone. Now we're actually almost full. We got one more slot left. Inventory is foolish, but more than a stack of copper as well, so we can just head out. Sounds good. So that's what we'll do. Get our sword out. This vein is very deep down. I can hear monsters. It's daytime though. So they're probably in a cave somewhere. Hopefully. I don't see the monsters here. Head to the base. Ooh, little lag. Okay. And we'll deposit all of our stuff. Some wood stuff. Find valuables. Let's say uh, keep these with us. We'll be going back down. Going to look for some tin. Next. Um let's look. Um So I've got this copper over here and over there. 
This is our farm. So it could just go next to our farm, actually. Let's go do that. Fine. Let's go down here and hope for tin. We're a bit higher up, so actually we only have uh, three torches. So before we actually go in, let's head to our base and grab some more torches. Um, let's make a stack of them, 32, and 32 torches requires 16 wood. There we go. Well, that's the situation. We have four open slots, right? Yeah, four. I don't think we've got anything. Oh, we've got these. And these. And these that we can put in. Like all of these we've already eaten, okay. Check for some plant stuff that we haven't eaten yet. Berries. Artichoke. Sure. So let's just eat this artichoke. And then we'll see if we can find anything else. Sure, this blueberry. Blueberry in these three things. And then we'll head to the mine. go see if we can find here didn't mean to take that torch down huh. more dirt on the dirt mine sorry a small banded iron I'll take it, it's not what I'm looking for, but what's this? Small yellow lim limonite, limonite. Malachite. Okay. I'm not gonna say no to all that copper. More small malachite. I'm having a feeling that this might be a copper vein or something. What with all the malachite we've been getting. What's this? Small gold ore. 
Please not another gold vein. That would be nice. This is all bended iron. And to I thirty one. It's dirt, okay. Let's have a nap. My time. There we go. Hmm. Okay. There we go. What's this? An iron vein. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. I mean, I'll take it. But, well, I am gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. So, I'll see you soon. Um, let's see this.
I'm back. Okay. Let's go for it. Um, let's head upstairs. Need to find another chunk. Let's just head one more thing east. One more region east. Okay, so we need, this is one, two, oh, let's not fall into quicksand, three, one more chunk, go down here, press snack, oh, we gained another heart, nice. We'll repair our pickaxe. There we go. Pick it up. And we'll head down again. Let's hope for tin. This time, what's this? As as best asbestos. Hmm, that's a thing. Make some heat insulation or something. That some more casserite. Oh, casserite. Garnetin, that's what you were talking about. Uh, uh, XA, how's progress going? Asks JPM. Progress going good. We just found our tin ore uh, vein. Which is what we're looking for. There we go. So let's go uh, go down a couple more blocks, I think. Guess the right sand. Sure. Head on this level. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll just uh, mine this way now. We've got a garnet in. We need tin for. This quest to head towards bronze. So we need bronze. We only need sixteen tin, but we'll we'll just once again mine until our inventory is full. Probably before our next mining trip, we will um, make some backpacks and stuff. So much casserite, very nice. There we go. Let's just actually. It's not as fast, but, it, but it's less annoying. I really dislike doing the uh, torch trick. Oh, Casserite. 
And this just smelts down into a tin ingot, I presume. Into two tin ingots, even. We've got more tin than we'll have an hour to do it. For the next 10 minutes, because then we'll run out and have to mine more. Because that's just how it looks like. Finally, iron pickaxe looks like new. Nice. I'm curious what the next level will be. Um, let's head this direction now. looking I still got a couple slots what's this dial diatom diatomite what's diatomite it's Yeah, diatomite. Flint dust, banded iron dust, and sapphire dust. Okay. Well. Oh yeah, progress is going. Shovel needs to be repaired real quick. There we go. It's groovy. These are going to be an issue as well. Let's mine those. I don't know if that's just one higher than where we'll go or if it's exactly at the level where we'll go. The torch? Ah, exactly where we'll go, so we'll mine that torch out. Doesn't really matter, but I didn't want to have anything spawn in case you wouldn't mind that block out. Also, our pickaxe is almost done. Is in almost out of durability once again. I have to repair it again. Okay, there you go. Pickaxe with iron. So I have a little nibble. Center of the chunk. On the one hand, that gravel is annoying. On the other hand, well, we'll need it, so we might as well just grab it all, right? It's 
night time again. Oh, and actually our inventory is full. Let's have a nap, and then we'll head back home. No to south. Sleep in the middle of the tunnel instead of at the edge. Okay. Sure. Um, let's head up. Uh, over here. Safety house. Ocelots. What's that sound? I don't like that sound. Put the dirt and the cobble away. Other stonish stuff. Oh, your balls. Hmm. You are full. I will take this out to be smelted. Okay. Aluminum foil? I ate something with aluminum foil in it, apparently. Okay. Let's get some buckets. Fill you up with. That there we go. Start mining shell copyright in you. Let's uh, put another chest up here for the ingots. Let's get some wood. And yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn two of those into planks. There we go. That will be for the ingots. There we go. And then slowly but surely, we'll start smelting all of this down. Might actually apply the gold or the iron to gold upgrades to that chest. Just to have it. There we go. So now we have a bit more room in there. Nice. So we're gonna need two more. Um, copper. Smelt this copper. And then we're gonna need some tin. Let's melt this tin down. Okay. Copper ingots. Tin ingots. There we go. Okay. Well, we wait for that. Um, what else do we need to do? Need redstone. Now well, that's for later. Iron, copper ore. The 
power of prospecting. At the top of your map screen, J by default, there are multiple tabs. Some of them will be very useful and will save you a ton of searching. GTR veins. This step will keep track of the veins for you. To save a vein to the map right, click a naturally generated ore. Some tools come right click. GT underground fluids. This will help you later. MV. DC nodes. This step will keep track of Thorncraft nodes for you. You need to scan them first. Small ores are not part of veins and this do not uncover a vein on the map. However, veins generate extra small arms related to their vein in their chunks. They can still be useful in your search, though not all small ores are related to a nearby vein, so don't be fooled. Another great interaction is that you can use the NAI search bar in highlight mode, double click it, and then go to the map screen. Oh, that's useful. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, what's this quest? Creosote. I guess you already turned some wood into charcoal and wonder what to do with all the creosote. Well, you can burn it in a normal furnace to cook your food, or you can make some torches with it. Later in LV, you can use it to heat up railcraft RC boilers, or you can run combustion generators with it. But that's super inefficient. Okay. Useful to know. that in there. How far along are you? You're done. Okay, you in there. You're done as well. Put you in there. Let's grab two more buckets of creosote. Keep fueling the furnaces. Let's actually take half of this out here. I think this is enough for the couple of quests, it is. Nice. Here we go. Copper. Copper ingots can be created by smelting copper, chuck copperite or malachite ore. Okay. Zucchini bread or footlong. Let's take a footlong. Flame. There we go. And that footlong can also go into our lunchbox. And tin. There should be enough tin for the tin quest. Here we go. Tin ingots can be created by smelting tin, casuite, or casuite sand, or Tin and cassite ores are only found at high altitudes, but cassite sand ore is plentiful near the surface. If you get lucky and find a high altitude tin slash cassite vein, save one of the cassite ore you find. Save one of the cassite ore to find a mica vein laser using the ore finder wand. Okay. Well, we haven't found that, so. Okay. Let's take some strawberry pie. We'll put that in here. Okay. Next. Making bronze. Now that you've found copper and tin, you should make yourself some bronze. Use your maser um, mortar to grind up some copper and tin ingots and mix them together. Bronze dust. One tin to three copper. Okay, let's get a mortar and pestle. Let's actually make a couple more of those. Um, make four more. I think that let's make five. Why not? Use Twenty-five stone for that. Twenty-five 
five. That's still smelting. There we go. So that is, yeah, 16 out of 48, okay. Chicken dust. That's some heavy rain. And it's probably nighttime, so let's go sleep. Even though I do like rain IRL, not so much in game. Um, so, bronze, there we go, bronze dust, now we need to smelt that, there we go, put that casserite in there, put all those mushroom castles away. And those coins. What coins are these? The chemist. Okay. We need half a stack of those. Okay. Probably gonna need some more buckets of creosote. It's a tool station down for now. Put these ingots away. Actually, while we wait for this to cook, we can just, I don't know, harvest our farms. Why be unproductive, right? Also, that's not farmland anymore. That's interesting. Okay. Let's cross this river, get to our farms, harvest our wheat and wood. Wheat. The thirteen wheat knees. There we go. Some wood, almost two stacks of it. We can actually place down some torches over here. Have a nice apple. Quench the thirst. Put all this away. Um, good stuff. Bad stuff. One, two, three, four, five. X, something like this, right? Tin. Put half in there. Oh, empty buckets. Can put the tin away. Gonna need that right now. Yeah. 
slowly building up a nice stockpile of um, plant stuff. So I need 32 of this bronze, so we're almost there. And then we'll finally get into the steam age. When all you have is a hum hammer, the whole world looks like an eel. When looking for good tool materials, see Gregtech Material Tools tab in NEI. Remember that NEI bookmarks are your friend. The Gregtech tools each have special uses. Okay. On a side note, tin pipes need a steel wrench to dismantle, so don't place them randomly. Okay, will do. So now we just need the making bronze quest, which should be finished around right now. There we go. That should do it. And it's done. Plain. Some curry rice. Very nice. Put the curry rice in our lunchbox. So now you shall proceed. As you've gathered and crafted all the materials and tools you need for your basic steam machine, you may now proceed to the next tier. Keep in mind um, that you'll need mountains of resources in order to craft even the simplest things, so you probably should stock up on all ores in this tier, but that's up to you. As a special reward, you get a pair of hollow glasses to look inside your inventories. Place it in the mask into the mask slot and use the keybind to turn it on. Sometimes it gets turned off somehow, so try pressing the button if that happens. Okay, so five, five bronze plates. This way. And get our tools. So, a screwdriver, hammer, probably gonna need more than pestle at some point. Five. Of these. There we go. And a wooden form for bricks. Okay. We've got that. Eight unfired clay bricks. It's just clay. Okay, let's go grab that. Um eight of these. Okay, eight clay, unfired clay bricks, actually need to, well, fire them of course, we expect it. Let's grab some more of this, shall we? You are almost steam age. I know, right? Just a little bit more. We'll get to steam age today. How do you get these bricks? You need a bucket of water. Well then, let's go grab a bucket of water. Speaking of grabbing things, let's empty this. Away. I'm not getting any wool from that, which is a bit unfortunate. Eight iron plates, seven iron plates, so we'll need let's let's just grab the iron. Seven iron plates. One, seven. There we go. Next, we need a furnace. So we need three flint and some cobble. Here 
we go. Okay, and the bricks. Those bricks get turned into brick blocks with the water. There we go. Next, we need an iron furnace. Iron furnace. Oh, we need a wrench. There we go. There we go. And next, we need a smoke coal boiler. Smoke coal boiler, here we go. Here we go. You shall proceed. Um, let's do small bronze fluid pipes, why not? Now we've unlocked the Steam Age. Welcome to tier 0.5, Steam. Welcome and well done so far. This tier is all about your first machines, getting more stuff from your ores and making bronze ingots in a more efficient manner. For water, yeah. For water, check out the water siding tank multi-block in the multi-block goals tab. To connect up your boilers, be sure to provide water from the bottom. They'll accept only water from this side, so no risk of melting your pipe. Wooden pipes are fine for this. Make sure you never run out of water. Adding water to a dry, hot boiler will cause it to explode. Steam will come out from all sides. Remember, steam is hot. It will destroy wooden pipes, and it can burn you if you walk on bronze pipes full of steam. Cover them with wooden planks or paper, or just don't walk on slash next to them. And no, you can't automate it. Make an electric one if you want to do that. Okay, sounds good. Steam alternatives. There's more than one way to get steam for your machines. This is complete. This is a completely optional quest line. This completely optional quest line shows you some alternative methods for producing steam. For the ones that need glass, you'll need to progress a few more quests to see how to do so. Though you can also make it now if you know how to use any eye to find the recipe. Okay. Probably need a few more quests to unlock that. So, we have got this machine. Also got some of these coins and stuff. Um, however, we don't have anything that uses it. So let's make um, let's make this. Your smeltery does a great job, your smeltery, <coughs> what smeltery? Uh, your smeltery does a great job mixing metals into alloys, but it's not very efficient and limited in its complexity. You need something new, so why not put your steam to some use? The alloy smelter can make bronze for you directly using ingots, dusts or even nuggets. You can make a nugget mold as well to turn ingots into nuggets if you have steel. It might also come in handy when processing raw rubber. You should keep an eye on recipes to see when machines offer better options to make them. Note, like all steam machines, the output port is a steam outlet when recipe is complete. It must not be blocked. Also, steam is hot, remember? Change the output side by whacking the, mach whacking the machine with a wrench. The 3x3 grid will show you which side the output side will move to when you whack it. You can empty the machine by putting a hopper, hopper beneath it. Warning, the alloy smelter takes a lot of steam. Do them one by one until you understand how fast you use steam and how much you will need buffered. Large pipe are a decent poor man's buffer. 
and the boiler can hold quite a bit of steam as well as the machine itself. Once you get a little further along, make a larger steam buffer with an iron or steel real craft tank. Mm. So yeah, um, this is what we're going to be working towards. One of the things that we're going to be working towards. But we're also going to need... Ooh, forestry, nice. Uh, don't get distracted, don't get distracted. Multi-blocks. The water dilemma. This one, probably. Yeah. Finite water is a problem, but fear not, there are solutions. I shall guide you to a steady supply of water. The real craft water siding tanks provide enough water to last the early game. The humidity of a biome is very important and will increase the base fill rate. If it is raining, the tank will fill much quicker. One block of the water siding tank must see sky for the maximum output. The best part is that you don't need a pump to extract the water. Tanks and pipes placed next to it will fill will be automatically will be auto filled by the water siding tank. Okay. So we need a rubber tree sapling for this. And a tree tap. Let's make a tree tap. Um sure. And making a rub rubber tree farm, which is bringing back memories. <laughs> Little snack. Um put away this stuff. Uh, these are actually mind valuables probably. Actually, the coal in lignite form are mind valuables, but the coke isn't mined, is it? It's processed. Let's put the ingots away. The hollow glasses. Bubbles. Equipment. Okay. That's the mask. Okay. Control. Right click to. Uh, options, controls, hollow glasses, numpad 5, okay, 5, 5, options, is it maybe, nope, Options, controls, hollow glasses, lamp at five, okay. Done, done, back to game. Five. Isn't it supposed to show like a little gooey? Options, controls. Hollow glasses, put them on H. Done, done, back to game. H. Not doing anything. That is unfortunate. Oh well. Let's go grab some wood. Uh, wood. Here we go. We need a tree tap. Um. Soft mallet. There we go. Um, so a wooden screw made from bolts, which is made from a stick. Okay. Let's grab a stick. Saw. File. Okay. Screw. Let's actually make, I don't know, like f two of them for now. Two tree traps, I mean. I'm gonna need two of these small wooden pipes. Which we need 
Planks? Um, all oh, right. I need the the chef's cook. There we go. Need these. Need four of them, I think. And we need two of these. There we go. Which will allow us to make two tree taps. There we go. Let's go hunt for some rubber trees. Hunting for some trees. Isn't that like a jungle biome? I remember seeing IC2 rubber trees somewhere. That's probably one. Yeah. We're not going to go there near there. That is a suicide mission. Now I see rubber trees over there. We don't need to go into the uh, copper mine right now. Thank you very much. Chicken. That's that. That's not it. You can recognize the IC2 rubber trees because they have like a little tower of leaves sticking out of the top of it. That's what I'm looking for. They are there. Oh, I can see something. Thought I saw something over here. Nothing. Also, their leaves are about that color instead of this somewhat lighter color. They're more like the uh, spruce leaves. They poisoned. How rude. Oink. I like this forest. It's like a seasonal forest, it's called. Okay. No, I see two rubber trees in sight yet. A sapling, okay. I like the way the sky looks in this biome. This is a very cottage core type region. an ore chunk. And yeah, I'm, I'm just wondering a bit. There's oil. Oh, I think that's it. That's one over there as well. This is it. Is this it? 
It doesn't look like it. This is an imposter. How rude. It's an imposter as well. It's also an imposter. How rude. An imposter tree. Those are dark oak. Yeah, they have like those like three leaves sticking out the top of them. Like a village over there? Doesn't look like it, but might just be a singular structure. Horses. Oh, look at that. Some redwood trees from um, Red Power, too. Those things are massive. Imagine cutting one of those down with your uh, lumber axe. Let's uh, mark this. Um, B. Redwood. Also, it's very dark underneath those, so let's not stay there in case Betty spawn. Also, it's getting dark because it's getting nighttime. Is that over there a rubber tree? That looks like a rubber tree over there. That one. Almost night time. Almost have a nap. There we go. Nap time. Hey. New day, new us. A little breakfast. Blackberry bushes, okay. Let's take those with us. I think we need them for a quest as well. More over there. Oh, but that's a witch. I want to fight a witch. We'll find some other. Wait, is that what I think it is? Is that silver wood? Nope, it's only eucalyptus. Okay, so let's um, avoid the witch. We can walk away and walk. Actually, there's a rubber tree over there as well. See, in those rubber trees, they have these spots that you can tap to get sticky resin. The sticky resin is what you use to get rubber. Normally, you use it once, and then you wait, and then you tap it again once the spot comes back. But, um, I'm going to chop this down anyway, so you can double tap it, I think. And now the spot's gone. But we're going to ch chop it down anyway. So... Let's chop it down and hope. Actually, let's remove the leaves first. Check if there's another spot. There isn't, unfortunately. 
we get a sapling. We didn't. That's unfortunate. There's still those over there with the witch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk a bit in this direction. And then unless we see another rubber tree. See another rubber tree. So let's just walk over there then. And we'll forget about the rubber tree behind us. Okay. We we've walked quite a distance actually. Don't like that structure. Reminds me of pillager out of a pillager outpost. I don't want to go near pillagers, please. That's three of them, nice. Um, a spot on this side, a spot on that side. No spot on that side. Ah, there's a spot. Up you. There we go. And then we can chop it down. Hope for some um, saplings. There we go, some saplings. Okay. Twenty six resin. So we've got some spot over there. there we go. No spots on that side, and then there. Even know if there can be multiple spots on one of these. Over here. See if we can find another one. What the structure is. Still uncomfortable going near it. There's another rubber tree. Yeah, there's another couple over there. There's actually one over right here. There's the spot. Put a tree tap. See, there's a second spot, so there can be multiple. Still so only 21. What? Okay. Ah, here it is. 22. That direction. So that, uh, there. There's another one. Spot. At twenty five now. And the bush. Get towards that one. That's one without spots. Oh well. At least one for which I didn't see the spots. Oh, 
another one without spots. That's unfortunate. We've got enough of that now. I want to get a couple more. Gonna need a lot of this stuff. And we're gonna make a um like a crop farm with these things. Let's just chop it down now. I'm too lazy. And then we'll start walking towards home. Sure, there we go. Ooh, some uh, aluminum sand ore. Aluminum gravel ore, sorry. There we go. There are some more over there. This stuff is very useful in the transition between LV and MV, I think. Also some iron or sand or or gravel. I didn't know that was possible. It's on top of a bush. Oh, oh no, that's just oh we can't grab the iron. <laughs> I was like, let's just grab the iron as well, why don't we? Well, we don't because we can't. What's our lunchbox situation? Ah, oh, we've got plenty of food, so we can uh, just run. There's some more, um, more gravel. Ooh, there's the witch. Stay away from her. Get the bed ready. It's almost night time again. Not a bed, it's a um, sleeping bag. We'll sleep over here. Okay. There we go. Next to that house. Some breakfast. There we go. Oop. Parkour. Mm -hmm. Well, parkour light. No. No. Halfway back home. Really should uh, take some scoops with me when I'm going outside. Just grab those uh, beehives.
famous famous rainforest cows. And there's also rubber trees. Got enough for now though. There we go. Now we're in the uh, explored mining chunks again. There's our farm. Oh, quick sand. Let's say slow sand. There we go. Come on. Okay, we're back home. Now we need iron rods, oak planks. Okay. What we're gonna do? Is I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick again. And I'll be back in a couple minutes. So I'll see you soon.
And I'm back. Yeah, see you later. Um, like say. Okay, let's go put the um, stuff away. Food, etc. Plant stuff. Nice wood, etc. Find valuables. Okay, what do we need? We need 130 wood planks. That's this, right? 130? 130. This is 130? That's 130. Okay. What else do we need? We need 52 iron rods. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. So we need a lot more iron. We've got a lot more iron. Okay. So let's get a couple buckets of... And we got one over there. Okay. Uh, creosote. Fill them. There we go. Get that iron going. Let's empty this ground trap over here. There we go. Okay, there's some mutton and stuff. Let's see. Let's grab some more wood. Um, I think this rubber wood can be processed, but only later on. So we'll just uh, process it in here now. There we go. Put this charcoal in here. There we go. How many iron ores does we need again? 52. We need five more iron ingots. One more. There we go. Uh, we need another iron file, which I th think you need a stick for. Not that you need um, two plates. That's a file. Okay, now we need more specifically we mean we need four more there we go now i've got all the components for water tank siding Ooh, we need another hammer <laughs> There we go. No, we don't actually have a stick. Okay, make one of those. There we go.
What are you complaining about? Here we go. The water dilemma is complete. Very nice. Claim. Very well. Ooh, it's night time. I think that I want to make another room for these machines. Make a room over here or something. Sure. So we're gonna need some cobblestone. One, two, three, and then the wall. One, two, three, and then the wall. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. There we go. I'm gonna need to rem remove all of this. A bit of landscaping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, the hallway. Other side of the hallway. Two. And just finish these walls up. There's still that zombie flesh there. Yeah, let's grab that. I think we need that for a quest as well. There we go. Okay. Let's actually put the torches inside first. One, two, three, four. On the floor. We still don't have glass to make. Um, windows from the ceiling. 
We'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. There we go. This one isn't needed anymore. Let's finish the lighting outside. See? An extra room. Very fancy and all that. Use the torch up there. Of course, light up the ceiling. One, two, three, four. There we go. Beginning to look like a real 9x9 house. There we go. So we need a spot for the tank. Let's check out the layout of our house on the map. Don't need the ores right now. So how about we make the tank like outside here on this corner. So make the tank over here and then the water can come in to the small coal boiler over here. Where does the water need to go in that thing again? Um, be sure to provide water from the bottom. Okay. That sounds like a plan. So if we do... Something like... A wooden pipe. Okay. Yeah, that's a gooey. Okay. There we go. And then we do the tank over here. Three by three by three, hollow. So one, two. One, two, three by three. Oops. Need to connect you. I think that's with a wrench, right? There we go. In that direction, that direction, that direction. Thanks for the follow, same as chess. And then we'll build up the walls over here. Like this. Water tank. Nice. And now you are getting water. And this is in a 90% humidity biome. So that is almost as good as it gets. We'll slowly fill up with water. And that water will get pumped into coal boiler. And then we can use that coal or that steam that will come out classic dire wolf base exactly i know right what else could you use as a starter base except by nine except for nine by nines how are you doing and also how do i do the out how do i set the output for this um, team will come out from the sides. 
Okay. Can I use? I probably can't use wooden pipes for a steam. That would be that would be silly. Let's use um, bronze pipes for that. Um, there's no output for boilers. Steam just comes out as is. Ah, okay, thanks. Um, what I could do, I think. What if I just do the output on the back over here? Uh, wrench. Ah, there we go. That's what I meant. Like this. And then like so. And then place the machines over here. Sounds like a plan. Right? I am procrastinating on the scientific paper. I should be prepping to publish. Oh no! What um what about? What's the paper about? Talk to me about it. <laughs> it's probably the opposite of what you want me to do, asking you questions about but you're procrastinating. <laughs> but I don't have mercy. Developmental biology and heat shock protein. Okay. Um, let me let my imagination run wild. I mean, developmental biology is, is, is obvious. Heat shock is obvious, protein is obvious. And I mean, I, it's obvious that organisms should have a response to heat shock. And like most responses in organisms, it's probably with a protein. But how is this combined with the developmental biology? Is it like how how that changes over the life cycle of an organism? Or what's it about? How far away am I? I'm not a biologist, just to be clear. <laughs> if it wasn't obvious by my reaction. So we've got this this steam or this small coil boiler. Um, but now we need to make machines that use the steam. So the first one that we wanted to make was the alloy furnace over here. I believe we also already. Um, Put it over here, yeah. Let's put all the stuff away. Grab the ingots. Actually, we're probably not gonna need copper or tin. We're gonna need some clay. Yeah, there's not many biologists in the GTNH community. Mostly CS physics, can be PhDs, yeah. Basically, science has just found out that HSPs are actually very active in like normal development, even though theoretically they came about as a stress protein to protect the organism. Yeah. Is that related to how, like when babies and stuff and I presume other organisms when they don't yeah, like when you've got like chicks, like baby baby chickens, um, but also other animals. They're very, they're much more um, uh, sensitive to temperature, um, to the temperature not being correct. They've got much higher, much lower tolerances for temperature. Is it like related to something like that? Or is it actually like 
even if the temperature and stuff is perfect, those proteins are present. And yeah, um, computer science here. So... <laughs> Even though theoretically, like the um, higher tiers of Greg Tech are like theoretical biology, right? Or like the, the interface between biology and physics and computer science and stuff. So we need some small bronze fluid pipes, which are made from bronze plates. So we need six bronze plates. Six bronze plates. Make some small bronze fluid pipes. We need two furnaces. So we need some flint. Six. We need some cobblestone. There we go. Some furnaces. And a small bricked hull. So we need some bricks. We need um, eight bricks. Okay. Actually, let's just make this. And some iron, very nice. My buckets, fill them with some creosote. Let's use that as fuel for now. There, yeah, CS lol. Um, I'll try to keep this short, but one of the novel things I've confirmed is that these heat shock proteins are always active, not just during heat shock. I'll be writing, but we'll chime in if I have any hints. I've got a, uh, I've only got into MV before, but but I've played many worlds, so I know a lot of early, about the early game. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, sure. Uh, um, keep writing and keep me on the background. I won't be around for much longer, probably like an hour or so. Uh, but I'll. Be some background background uh, entertainment until that's over. Uh, so now we need some water. I don't like the sound of that uh, baby zombie. There he is. Sure. There we go. Ugh, don't like mobs. Uh, oh, there's another one. What's with all these flipping baby zombies? And why are they all um, fireproof? Uh, it's coming out. Two, three, there we go. Okay. Some bricks and some more bricks. Oh, there are you, bricks? Okay, we need five more bronze plates, the hammer, one, two, three, four, five, uh, here we go, a brick bronze hull, and an 
Steam Alloy Smelter. Very nice. Claim reward. Wait, is that only one coin? Oh, I got a full stack. That's why it's only one. Cool. Just to get some bronze ingots. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's go place this fellow down. Uh, what's in here? There we go. That's like, why do you not have a UI? You do have a UI though. Okay. Let's uh, put some fuel in this. Let's take eight charcoal for now. We'll put that in here. Oh, nope, in this one. And over here. There we go. So now it's building up heat. I think I need to change those pipes. Oh, it's becoming nighttime. Let's not open my house when it's nighttime. Let's have a little nap. Oh, I've got speed. Speedy Gonzalez. Open this up. And we will grab this one real quick. There we go. Where's the wrench? Where's my wrench? You want to wrench? The top of the steam furnace got a allow. Ah! Steam to escape. Yeah, but where's my wrench? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The output. I saw that in a video. My wrench not in my inventory. Uh. Well, I'll need an extra wrench sometime. So I think it's six plate, right? Oh, there's my wrench. Found it. While well, looking for the hammer. There we go. This is what you mean. Bottom left corner, yeah, exactly. I need this. Gotta keep the pipe one way. Thanks, my dude. Okay. Let's see, a very important alloy. The most important alloy until you reach a higher tier is undoubtedly red alloy. Unfortunately, or fortunately, you have an alloy smelter. So grab some redstone and combine it with copper to get yourself a handful of that. Don't confuse your bronze with copper or else you'll be scratching your head. Red alloy. Uh, alloy smelter. Right, you need redstone for that. Do we have any redstone? Find valuables. Um, this looks like redstone. Um, crushed redstone, impure redstone, normal redstone. Okay, how do you use this? Um, is that like in a cauldron? What do you do with this? With a hammer. Okay. With a hammer. Here we go. 
I think that goes in a cauldron. Oops. Oh. Cauldron? There we go. Cauldron. Which is just seven iron plates. Okay. A hammer. There we go. I think we can put this over here. Don't we have water like right here? Yeah, we do. Let's move that water over here. Allow you to connect. Place a cauldron on top. Uh, oh, that's not connected. Oh, does a cauldron not connect to wire? Or to pipes, I mean. Uh, That's unfortunate. Uh, oh well. Um, then we'll just move it to the front room. It was a good idea. I know, right? But um, things that are easy and seem obvious um, are not things that are possible in Greg Tech. Those two things generally have very little overlap. There we go. And redstone. Um, impure redstone and cauldron. There we go. Now we've got redstone. But is it enough? We've got 33 and we need 14. Uh, and we need four each. Uh, so 14 times four is 28, 56. So we need uh, quite a bit more. Okay, um, let's put this away. We'll go prepare for a mining trip. Go. These buckets away. Bouquet. All of these tools. Like a tool, isn't it? Uh, Tree trap is a tool. Mortar and pestle is a tool. Uh, All right, I said I'd get a backpack before I went on my next morning trip. Sure, let's do that. Uh, um. Okay, we need leather and tent leather. Do we have any? We've got leather, string. Do we have any more? Um, cotton. A bit of cotton. That's enough to make the bound leather. Oh. There we go. One. Oh. We need 
three more string. Let's actually just stringify that whole stack. Two. And leather. There we go. And you have to dry. We have everything else. No, we need to stone. Just regular stone, cobblestone. Yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. So now we just need to wait for that. Um. Put away the cotton. And the string. Let's uh, harvest the cotton over here. So we need way more of it. There we go. And let's grab the sugarcane while we're at it. Really need to set up a proper sugarcane farm and proper cotton farm and stuff. Make like IC2 crops. Really need to get like a crop analyzer and stuff before I do that though. I think it's called a crop analyzer. Put away all this plant stuff. There we go. It's night time now. There we go. And I'm going to make myself a pot of tea. It's cold, but like something warm to warm myself up to. Um, I'm going to do that. I'll put on my BRB screen, and then I'll be right back. I'll be back in like, I don't know, five-ish minutes. No, probably sooner. Because I'll just put on the water. Teapot, yeah! I got a tea advent calendar. So I'm going to look at what the here advent calendar. Got it as a present. It's the 20th. Let's have a look at what the 20th gives us. Gives us tea with fruit, forest fruit. That's meh. I'll make a I'll, I'll make a pot of it, but it's not my uh, cup of tea, so to say. I got it as a present from um, for the Dutch version of uh, Christmas. Um, so I don't know where they got it. Probably online somewhere. From Pickwick. It's if you are if you're English, it's probably um, anathema 
the femur to what she is supposed to be. But eh. <laughs> and my uh, cattle is on, so now I have to wait for the chi. Um, how much leather do we need for this? Only four. So we can put all but four of it away. That's... We need to make some flint to take with us. Let's just make a half stack. It should be one mortar. There we go. We need to bring some iron with us. Um, there we go. That's more than we'll use, probably. Let us repair our shovel. Oh, yeah, I found it. My sister lives in the Netherlands, so I'll see if I can't get her to bring one back to the States. Ah! It's pretty big, though. It's like... In freedom units, it's about a foot by a foot and a half, and about an inch and a half thick. So, um, it's not something that can be easily carried with you. But you can try. Exactly. It's like novelty advent calendars for about everything these days. So I'm I'm sure that something like that exists in the US as well. Wouldn't be surprised if uh you could find something like that like it on Amazon. Sounds like something Jeff would uh, would sell. We need um, some more food items to bring with us. Let's see if we've got anything in this plant chest that we haven't eaten yet. Uh, beans. Beet. Bell pepper. Is that... Oh, we've got one more slot. Let's see... Blackberry. Sure, let's take a blackberry with us. Yeah, there's a few. Honestly, I love the idea of a tea calendar over a chocolate one. I know, right? It's just... I mean, don't get me wrong, chocolate is nice. But the chocolate in, like, the cheap advent calendars... Yeah, I know. I know. I'm lazy, so I'll do work to not do work. But yeah, I know. Um, there, see? Now you can do that. <laughs> also, I'll, there, there's an issue with this. Um, if you have eaten it recently, then it also highlights it. Um, because you can see it highlights the artichokes, even though I have eaten it, but I've eaten it, like, uh, recently. Because... Um, I don't know. Um... Water has heated up, so I'll go make my pot of tea now.
would be useful to take my tea bags with me. Could be any I not updating its data. I don't know how often it would check to re-up the info, but I bet it doesn't do it except when starting a world. No, it's not that. It actually says it in the quest book, I think. Um Um, Here we go. Um, you can search not yet eaten to see food left. Um, uh, doesn't say it actually. It's just, oh well, doesn't really matter. Um, let's see, is this done? It is done. So we can make the diggers backpack now. Very nice. Can we put it on like a back slot? Doesn't go in the backpack slot. Not in battle gear. That's the galactic craft. Is it like a bauble? Nope. Equipment. Oh well. We'll just carry it with us. Well shit. Yeah, I don't know, I ain't a CS type guy though. Yeah. Even us CS type guys, we know when to pick our battles. Let's take this with us. And we'll go looking for some new ores. Um, let's not go near that. I would rather not die, please. We haven't found any rats done yet. Let's go looking, I don't know, let's go that way. Why not? Why not? Have our sword out as we walk. Thorns. Nine. Second one, please. So this is the ore chunk. So one, two, three. Ore chunk again. Let's uh, go down here. Why not? One. Redstone is a possible thing, right? Um, not that one. This one. Vein stats. 
Yeah. Between 5 and 40. Okay. Let's see if we can find one. There we go. By the way, how did you find my uh, find my stream? Did you like go looking on Twitch for Gregtech New Horizons, or did you find the link in the Discord, or? Small copper. Pyrite. That's it. Small shell copyright. Okay, now we mine all this stupid gravel. Can't make a staircase out of gravel. Get a stack of stuff. I know it's against the law, but I've gotten to the point where it just digs straight down the hole. I don't want to waste torches. Now I saw your vault yesterday, then I forgot about it because I was busy as hell. But then whilst writing, I realized I needed something in the background, so I searched GTNH on Twitch. Oh, uh, yeah. Then I don't do Cyrillic. I do just English. Good story, good story. Take my silver. I have a feeling that this is gonna be a um, a copper uh, copper vein. Abyssal stone. What's a abyssal stone? That's from like abyssal craft. So it says there, and it's from real craft. Okay, never mind. I'm about to say, I don't think we've got a bit of craft on this, do we? No, we don't. Okay. That is um, a cave. That looks circular. Is this like a like a meteor or something? It's like the modern geodes. Oh. Okay, let's get some get some gravel. There we go. Oh, that's going to you. Are they dangerous? Or are they just thing? Okay. I mean, it connects to a cave, so danger ahead, but... There you go. Do we need to like dig the 
abyssal stone out or how does it work because it looks like it's empty to me uh, okay so this probably this is probably a dot one then Probably like a chance to get something in there. And we just hit the anti jackpot. Oh well, we'll continue down. Actually, uh, I saw some small ores. Not gonna pass those up. Oh well. Are those things like original real cr real craft, or were they like uh, edited by the uh, GTNH devs? I played with a real craft back in the day, but I don't remember. Oh well, copper. I don't remember them. Okay. Sleeping back with us. A little snack. Let's go three further this way now. To the next one. One. Two. Three. Or chunk again. Go down over here. Let's go down over here. Circle back up. Another gold vein. This is like the like the sixth or seventh gold vein that we find found. Look at this. These are all all the all the veins that we found. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen veins. And one, two, three, four, five of them are gold. I mean, I'm I'm only complaining a little bit because we're gonna need all that gold in the long term. But right now, I'd rather have some other resources be that plentiful. Well, at least it wasn't that deep down, so we can um, move on soon. One, two, three. Sure, let's go down in the middle of clay, shall we? Vanadium magnetite, small ore. Gold is annoying, such a low concentration of it in veins, I don't need more fucking vanadium magnetite. I mean, can't you turn vanadium magnetite into like tiny bits of gold? So... This is probably gonna be another one. Given... Oh, yeah, there we go. Another gold vein. Okay, 
One, two, three. Let's go down over here. Actually, before we go down, let's repair our pickaxe. There we go. There's gold in them there hills. It would be quite funny if you went went to right next to the base and it was right. Yeah, wouldn't it though? <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Oh well. We'll find it eventually. Yeah, this is probably gonna be a coal vein. I'm calling it now. Actually, we just got another magnetite. But we've got two small coal, which is... Like, it's not guaranteed, but it is an indicator. Also, this black granite is really dark. Coal is good. Oh, yeah, 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 could, could be diamonds, true. I'd like a diamond vein, to be honest. But I'd prefer a redstone one. What should be another fucking uh, gold and magnetite vein? It's coal. <laughs> we, we don't have coal yet, I think. Yeah, such a new one for the collection at least. So let's head this way. One. Two, three. Oh, it's only a hobgoblin. Coal is good, especially once you get more than one coke oven up running. Coal coke fur is uh, very good for torches, if nothing else. Yeah, I mean, true, but um, I can also get torches with creosote and stuff. With creosote and... Um, cotton. Well, wool, but wool's cotton, basically. I'm not gonna waste coke on torches. Yeah, exactly. Um, especially because you can get the other drops from ground traps and stuff. I thought you could also get wool from ground traps, but I haven't gotten wool in my ground traps yet today, or at all. Small iron, let's take that. Small glauconite, what's glauconite? Potassium, manganese, aluminum. Okay. How difficult is that to process? Huh. That's quite a complex mineral. Or as you say, quite a complex, complex ore or something. This is soapstone. Okay, also not what we're looking for. But we were talking about torches, and of course, I've run out of them. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to the base and then we'll probably do another row to start next to this gold. Oh well, you know where the um, redstone probably is? It's probably here, beneath the fucking Thorncraft um, dungeon thingy that has enemies that will kill me if I get near them. That's where the redstone will be. <laughs> It'll be under the river, yeah. Could also be. Oh well, Iron Jesus just hasn't blessed me today. Get my tea cup and fill it with this tea. You could use the redstone you've already got to make an ore finder. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. And I don't have to dig down, I, do, I can just go to the center of the chunk, be like. Is there redstone here in them the hills? Them there hills? Them here hills? Him here hills? Let's see how hard it is to make that ore finder thingy. Defining rod. Let's... Hey! Now the hologram thing is working. It's suddenly working. It wasn't working before. Now it is. There we go. Stone. Cobblestone. Dirt. Okay. Let's see. Um... Here, this is it. Oh, that isn't too hard. The ore finder one reduces the tedium of locating needed veins. If you're not sure how to craft magnetic iron rod threads, check its shapeless crafting. Yeah. Once you put an ore sample into the wand, it will tell you if there is ore. If this ore is nearby, when you get close to the target, you'll hear the sound. And the wand would tilt down to the point of being upside down if there's a lot of the target or nearby. Use any eye to figure out. Open one's inventory. The rod has a 60 block radius. The rod appears to work based on GT's material system, so anything of the same material will, will work. This includes cro crushed ores, dust, ingots, gems, rods, you name it. For things you don't that don't belong to a particular material, the rod appears to search only for that exact block. For example, for instance, you won't detect a small ores with usual ore block. Oh, that's nice. If they detected ore as part of a vein, you'll see a discovery message in the chat, and the vein will automatically be logged into the visual prospecting tab of your journey map. The wand also works from inventory and hotbar, so you don't need to act need to be actively holding it, but you get style points if you do. The ore in the wand is stored within the player, not the wand. In other words, remove the ore if you want to give the wand to your teammate. The ore finder wand doesn't work in space. The vast cosmic energies of the sun interfere with its inner working, or the devs want you to use something more complicated than a stick you choose. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we need two redstone. 
Um, and also eight more. We need six iron. Which we've already got. Okay. We take some more. We need a gold ring. Don't have any gold. Um, gold. Can this just be smelted? It can. Okay. And that's what we'll do. And so the gold comes in handy. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but, um... And this is... Uh, opposite of what you'd expect. I don't have that much gold. Like, I've got no gold ingots. And I've got, like, 12 gold ore. And, like, a bit of crushed. So I need some files. And I think a hammer or something. Three rods. Two of them need to be magnetized. Two sticks. There we go. Gold. Gold ring is made from um, a gold rod. Gold ring, there we go. We've got everything now. Nope. Wait, what? Oh, a soft mallet. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's put the tools away. And the gold, don't need the gold. Take one redstone dust. Look like a... How do you open the inventory? Or the thingy? Um... Shift right click doesn't do anything. Oh, you need to shift right click it on something. You can't shift right click it on the distance. Okay. Redstone. It's daytime. Off we trot. And it's, it's, you don't have to do anything with it, right? It's, it's just active all the time. Yeah, exactly. Let's keep this open as a guide. Stupid thorns. Oh, hello. There we go. Yeah, um, stop these. Seven. I forgot to bring torches. Of course, I forgot to bring torches. I went back to get torches, 
I got distracted by the new toy. And what I did not bring. Torches. It could be that it's not very deep. Enough. Yeah, this okay. could be at only like Y level 40, I think, but it could also be at Y level 6 or 4. Yeah, exactly. You could just dig straight down. Yeah, I could also just, I don't know, quit. So, Malachite. Forty-three, no banded iron. Forty, so no limonite. More small yellow limonite. Grab a sack of cobble. Limonite, limonite, limonite. Yeah. Okay, let's go get some more torches. You're getting ores from a number of different veins, but no rats on yet. Yeah. Yeah. That's a thing, isn't it? You would expect some small redstone or something, but no small redstone has appeared yet. Oh well. We'll get there. Yeah, 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 I'm in, uh, I'm in the ore chunk. You can see that in the top left. Let's just mark it. It hasn't marked it yet. Um, redstone. There you go. Okay. Um, this can be turned off. Running back home. Actually, let's turn off the red boots. Um, waypoint. Don't need that right now. go almost back home that's a good idea of yours to make that uh, ore finder thingy uh torches let's just be lazy 17 16 and a stick okay there we go. Don't want to make a million buckets and stuff. I don't like spider sounds. Okay, give me the creeps. Got my sleeping bag with me, good. The moment I thought I had forgotten that for some reason, even though I didn't take it out of my inventory. Let's not fall in the quicksand. 
the great evil. There we go. Yeah, I meant to put five, yeah. I updated um, immediately, and I started this playthrough on 2.5 as well. So I didn't need to do any migration stuff. What? But it said there was redstone, didn't it? Then why is there f flipping an iron vein? What? Um... Brown limonite, yellow limonite, banded iron, metkite. One of the surrounding veins is redstone and has ores that overlap. Ah, could be. Yeah. Could be. We'll head up. And we'll um, see in which direction it is. Actually, before we head up, we'll go sleep. Because monsters terrify me. Mm -hmm. We'll collect it. Rings. Yeah, sometimes I, I pretend to have one of those. Okay, the power finder wand. Let's check the south first. Two, three. It's not this one. It's not the one to the east because we came from the east. Oh fuck, that's a red creeper. What are red creepers? Yeah. It's not this one, so it's not the south, southwest. Is it west? It should be west. Two, three. It's not west. Could it be southeast? This is where it says it is. It's not in this one, so it could be in this one. Nope, it's not in one of the surrounding ones. You know what, let's... Um, dig down and see what is here. Yeah, exactly. It's weird. And you know, part of me wants to go to the Discord and say, um, what's going on? Um, but the answer would be, uh, you've got a skill issue. 
Um, so I won't. <laughs> no, the answer wouldn't be that, but you get what I mean. I don't want to ask. Cassarite. That's right, tin. Would be nice to get some tin. More tin. Only got one tin vein so far. Getting a second one would not be a an unneeded luxury. Nothing recent in the Discord regarding or find a want. Does Micah have um Micah doesn't have redstone in it, does it? But it would be useful. Mica, uh, or veins. Yeah, no redstone. A win is a win indeed. What's this? It's Micah! <laughs> you were right! <laughs> nice. Okay. It's not what we need, but it's nice to have. Okay, now we'll go one south and check that one out. There we go. One chunk further, I think. There we go. Send. Oh! Oh! It's pinging here now! I was probably too high up. It doesn't ping here. But it does ping here. So it's probably this one. Appetite. Um, shut up, please. Thank you very much. I didn't see what that door was. There's more appetite. Hope not. This is a third appetite that we've gotten. What's in an appetite train? Um, yeah, and there's nothing redstone in there. I mean, it could just be RNGs is trolling me. It's appetite. Why is it 
flip an appetite. Okay, let's do that one next. Let's go to the west. We'll add another uh, bookmark here. Um, yeah, it doesn't do that either. Um, oh, if the detected ore is part of a vein, you'll see a discovery message in the chat and the vein will be automatically locked. But it also says it doesn't do um, small ores. Let's dig down here. It's not gonna be it, but let's try. If we're gonna like ask a question on the Discord. Oh, what's this? Kaelin. Kaelinite. Which is Fuller's Earth, Kaelinite, Zealotite, and Glossotite. Well, this was what we were looking for, but at least it wasn't deep down. Let's head one more west. One, two, three. This is the ore chunk. Some dinner. And then we'll go to bed. There we go. Let's head down. See what we've got here. Try calcium phosphate. More appetite. It's more fucking appetite. Of course it is. At least if I want to make like fertilizer and stuff, I know where to go. Oh, that's a great wood tree, I think. Great wood. That's uh, Marcus. Um. Um. This chunk. Put this thing on the hot bar. We hate appetite now. Yeah, appetite is up there with with uh, gold for ores that we have got enough of. <laughs> oh shit! I thought that dude would spawn like spiders, but he didn't. Which is very nice of him. Okay, let's repair this shovel. There we go. Shovel. Also, welcome back, JPM. <laughs> it's 
small vanadium magnetites is probably gonna be another gold vein, isn't it? Yep, there we go. <laughs> okay, um... So this is the original redstone ping. We've done all of the ones around it. But we also it also pinged over here. So we're also gonna do these around here. Could also just run around. Yeah, yeah, good, good do, good do. Actually a good idea. Okay, let's do that for a bit. And then off if we don't find anything interesting. We'll just run in a straight line for now over here, in this direction. Straight-ish line. Let's mark this great wood tree as well. Um, quick mark. Great wood. There's so many great woods over here. I thought those were supposed to be rare. You could try to mine on the other side of the river. Yeah, but yeah, I could. I could also try to take on that Thumbcraft uh, dungeon. But this divining rod thing should just work. A ghost spider. Okay. Oh, hello. Ah, now it marked it. Where am I? Oh, and it's over there all the way. This is the ore chunk. Let's go dig down here. We found it! Hopefully. Uh, let's take this out. Only problem is my inventory is so full right now. Marble, okay. <laughs> so we'll probably, before we actually get to mining, we'll probably have to go back to base. Just empty the infantry. And it's quite a ways away. But I'm still curious why it would ping for at those other locations. What are you? Small redstone ore. There we go. Let's drop a bow and an arrow. Could just craft a chest with some wood upstairs. Yeah, I could. I could also just not um, just drop some trash. Make those arrows. I don't need a lot of redstone right now, remember? I need like 20. Which I've nearly got already. <laughs> also, this music is very victorious. Very appropriate right now. Very much we defeated... We defeated we defeated the Xenos scum. Wow. 
by 40 now, so we, sh we could be hitting it in a level. Oh, small redstone. like the sound of that witch. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's in a cave. Of course it's in a cave. See, there's a redstone. In a fucking cave. It's one side blocked off. <laughs> this side is already blocked. Ish. There we go. Look it up over here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's block off this water and lava now. It's almost midnight. When did that happen? Oh, and I've got work tomorrow morning. <laughs> I would only start at nine. There we go. Look out the lava. There we go. So we made a little bridge head. Let's see what we can do with this. Redstone. No need zombie flesh right now. Your cinnabar. 
Don't need stone dust. Cinnabar ore. Don't need the malachite. There we go. Okay. Take this. Don't need a lot of it for now. Just a little bit. Okay, let's place down the tool station, repair our pickaxe. Also gonna take a nap, so that when we go back upstairs, we don't have 20 million monsters. They can't get to me, they can't get to me. Just repeat that in my head and eventually it might be true. There we go. I think that we've got enough redstone for now. We don't need a lot. We need it like like 20 or something. We've got more than 20. These can be... Wait, you can't do this by hand? Huh. Okay. Oh well. Uh, we've got enough... Either way. Go head home and then we'll end the stream for today. Let's turn off those um, other waypoints and remove them actually. What's this? Why is dirt there? I'm being griefed by Enderman or something? There's a skeleton. Ah! Yeah, let's not. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. I literally screamed. Another shiver from the um, the unease. It's really far away, like five hundred blocks. I mean, it's not truly a massive distance, but it's quite far. Creeper. Yeah, no, it wasn't a creeper. 
it was a a skeleton that made explosions and not normal explosions but like gravity explosions oh my lunchbox is empty to make some more food Oh, quicksand. Luckily, my shovel isn't broken. One. Oh, four D. Okay. Talk about excessive. There we go. We're back in Torchland. The forest of torches, you could even call it a torch wood. There's more and more ocelots. How many are there now? One, two. There's a third one, I think, that's downstairs. Hey there. Ah. Okay. Either way, I'm gonna end this here. If you haven't followed me yet, just follow me. I like follows. Um, also, I've got a Discord. Um, that's a thing. Um, and I'll see you again tomorrow, maybe? I think I'll be on tomorrow. So, and if not, then probably this weekend. Goodbye.